I'll be showing five new features in Reading Progress. This is a free fluency app that's built into Microsoft Teams assignments, and we have some new updates that have just rolled out recently. So let's get started. The first new feature is something called Actionable Insights and creating a challenge assignment. I'm here in Reading Progress Insights, and this is the insights you're all familiar with. So if I scroll down here to the word cloud, challenging words, there's a new button that says create challenge assignment. What we've done is we've made it really easy for an educator to just click a button here and it's going to generate a word list as an assignment based on the, some of the challenging words. And so I'm just going to click this button here. And now it's creating the assignment. Now what you see is it launches reading progress all set up to make a new assignment. It puts the top challenging words automatically in a list right here. And now I'm ready to go. So I just go hit next here. And then I fill out my assignment and I can put whatever information I want and click assign. So this is a huge time saver for educators who are looking to do that. Also, you can make it on a per student basis versus the entire class. So I'll show that really quick. I'm back in insights here. I'll click down the student list and I'm going to choose Alex Wilbur. So I scroll down on Alex and I have that same option at the bottom. Here's the words that Alex was having problems with. I can make a personalized challenge assignment for him with just a click of a button. The second new feature is the ability for educators to customize the return to student report. We used to only have the full report and the simplified report. Now we're giving lots of options to customize it in just the way you want. So right here, I've marked up my passage as a teacher of this student, and now I'm ready to return it. If I click edit here, you've already had full report in the past and simplified report. We've added also custom report. So if I click this one, I can customize exactly how that report will return to the student. So I'll click the arrow here. Now you see all the different options and I can check and uncheck different things. So let's say I want to not show accuracy and I don't want to show number of attempts and I don't want to show reading level. So I'll show correct words per minute, word count, and then all the different highlights. Now I'll click save. Now this report will get sent back with my customizations. The third new feature is that return for revision fully works with reading progress now. So now if I've given Ashley some feedback, hey, can you try this one again? If I click the down arrow here, I can choose return for revision. We'll choose that. Now it's going to send this back to Ashley with some feedback and have her doing it again. Now I'll switch over to the student to show what that looks like. I'm signed in as Ashley. Here's my geography assignment and it looks like it needs revision. So I will click this to open it. And it says return for revision there. And there's my feedback. Hey, can you try this one again? So let's open up the geography passage. First off, you'll see that this report now shows words per minute. It doesn't show accuracy rate. It doesn't show the reading level or number of attempts. And it only shows these highlights. So this is that custom report that we talked about. On the revision side, there's now a bar across the top that says click on the highlighted words to learn for your mistakes. Tap next when you're ready to try this passage again. And there's a next button. So now I'll click next and it says, Hey, are you sure you're done reviewing? This is going to let you re-record, but once you do that, you can't come back to this page. So now I'll click start reading and Hey, this isn't Ashley. This is really just me. But if I was Ashley, I could start over and click start and I get the countdown and now I could redo my reading and then say, I'm done. Use this recording. And now I'll just click turn in again. And now I've resubmitted my assignment with the revision. The fourth new feature is that we now have over 100 languages and locales for auto detect and reading progress. Our previous number was 37 and we've just added 67 new languages. So we have over 100 at this point. There's a link on the screen and also in this video's description to go to this site and has all the new languages and locales that are supported. And these are fully rolled out now. The fifth new feature are insights premium reports for reading progress. This allows a school or a district to see data rolled up across a broad spectrum of classes, grades, or even a district. This is great for that really high level view of what's happening with reading progress. The link for insights premium is on the screen and this is a paid offering. So the rest of reading progress is free insights premium has an additional charge and the link is on the website to learn more. First, I will add insights right here on the left hand app bar. So I'll hit the three dot menu and you can search for insights and it's right here. We'll click this and I will right click and pin this. Now this is the normal insights view that you get for your class. If you have insights premium, you can drop this down here and choose your organizations. 
This gives me the rolled up view across everything I have. And it's not just reading progress. It can be assignments, it can be reflect, but we're going to focus on reading progress in this case. So I will go here under reading progress and I'm going to drill in. Now you see reading progress for all organizations. And this is a very high level view and you can start drilling down deeper and deeper. You can see average reading accuracy, number of reading progress assignments per student, and the percent of students using reading progress. So maybe you're trying to drive reading progress usage across your whole district. This lets you track that at a high level. So you can see 65%. Now I'm gonna to go to the top here and drop down all organizations. And this is a mythical ministry of education, but this could be a district. I'll click this. What you see is Insights now filters on just the Ministry of Education, the students who are using reading progress in total, the average accuracy rate, and even the number of assignments per student. And then the upper right, it shows that there are 1,905 students in this report. And I can scroll down and I can compare Ministry of Education to all organizations if there's others. But what I wanna do is actually drill down here and go into primary schools. Now I'm just looking across the different three primary schools in this whole area and I can see the average reading accuracy, the number of assignments per student, and the percentage of students who are using it. And I can compare the primary schools to the higher level Ministry of Education. I can also drop down grade levels. So I can drill and filter on just different grades here. I can look at genre. I can look at reading levels, potentially if I've entered those things. I can filter by the last set of days or month or week or whatever I'm looking to do. In this case, you can also drop down at the top to filter or you can go and just click right here in filter. So I'm gonna go into Little Valley Elementary School and just drill in to see their reading progress report. This is Little Valley Elementary School and I can see across the different grades here. I can see the accuracy, the number of assignments that are being given. I can compare Little Valley Elementary against the other primary schools. Now when I drill into a specific grade, I can get even more details. And again, I can do that right here by clicking on it or I can go to all grade levels here. Let's say I wanna drill into the fourth grade. Now I can get even more details. And these are a couple of different classes in the fourth grade, so I can look at a class level, see the reading accuracy, mispronunciations, omissions, etc. I can scroll down, and now when I'm at a grade level, I can even see the accuracy rate and correct words per minute at that grade level in the class. So now I can compare this class to the rest of the school. I can drill down and even see challenging words for this fourth grade. Here are the three classes in the fourth grade. So maybe there's a language arts class I wanna drill into. I'll click here. Now I've drilled into a very specific class in fourth grade. And at the top, you can see Ministry of Education, then down to primary schools, then down to a specific school, into a specific grade, and even into a specific class. Now looking at this class, I can even see the assignments that are happening. And I can look at any assignment I want. I can look at average words per minute in this specific fourth grade class. I can see the accuracy rate and the challenging words just for this specific class in fourth grade. I can even see the student list and drill in at a student level to see what's happening in that specific class. So as you can see, this really allows you to drill in deeply into a specific class in a grade across a whole spectrum. And I can still use the same filters as before, genre, reading levels, 28 days. I can even filter at a student level. So here I might wanna drill into Alex Wilbur and now I'm seeing specific data for a student. That is all part of these Insights Premium Reports, which are now rolled out for reading progress, and you can learn more with a link on the screen as well as in the description. If you wanna keep up with all the latest Microsoft updates and tips and tricks, subscribe to my channel, and then just ring the bell so you get all the latest videos that I post.